What's up, everybody? It's easy, easy street game, and bring you another Clash of Clans video. Town Hall 9 attacks. We got a bunch of different attacks in Town Hall 9 featuring nerve damage. The beautiful, wonderful nerve damage. She's gonna kill me when she sees that I put her picture in the video. <laughs> I did put hearts on it, though, so that I should be okay. Anyway, here's some of the replays that she did last night. She told me she was struggling with Town Hall 9, so we went over a bunch of different attacks. Uh, we're gonna feature the Laloon and uh, the uh, a bunch of different hog attacks. She really killed it. Once once she got once she got focused on some of these attacks and tried a couple of times. Um, these are some really strong attacks in Town Hall Nine. Uh, anyone who's watched the channel knows that I, I think Town Hall Nine is probably the strongest Town Hall. It, they, they just have so many good options. The the troop counts right. The the troop levels are right. Uh, you know, balloons are the same level as Town Hall 10, which is the same level as Town Hall 10. So Town Hall 9, you have tons of opportunity. So let's get into the first attack. The first attack was a was a Dragaloon attack. Now, what, what we what you want to focus on on the Dragaloon attack is the funneling of the troops. You want to start off with putting a couple of dragons on the outside of the walls. Try to keep them away from the air defenses. You don't want to drop down a dragon directly in line of an air defense. So if there's air defenses near the outer walls, that, that wouldn't be the best spot, spot for you to start. start. Start somewhere where they can take out a couple of trash buildings on the outside of the walls without get, taking a ton of damage. Uh, once they've cleared out, I, you know, she started off in the bottom left and the uh, top left, I mean, I'm sorry, bottom right and top right of, of the base. Uh, she cleared out a couple of trash buildings on each side, and then she started the main attack right from the center of that same wall. She dropped a few more dragons, all the balloons, dropped a clan castle uh, lava hound, and pushed into the core of the base. The, the, the key to this is the funnel. Uh, if you just drop in 10 dragons on the outside of the walls, there's no telling where they're going to go. So you, you don't ever want to do that. You want to start off with one or two dragons. You start off with one in one corner and maybe you start off with another one or two on the same side of the base but in another corner. So you start off by clearing out the corners and that will leave the whole center of that wall for you to funnel your troops in. Uh, by funneling, for those of you who don't, who don't know what funneling is, if you're playing this game and you don't know what funneling is, you get on YouTube and just uh, put in Clash of Clans funneling. There will be about a million videos on it. Um, a lot of people can explain it a lot better than I can, but funneling is a main part of this game. That is the act of getting your troops to enter the base inside the walls instead of going around the outside of the walls. It's that simple. It's a key element of the game. You have to learn how to funnel your troops in order to three star. And that's one of the, one of the keys of the game is the three stars. That's how you have fun. You have fun by wiping out these bases. Uh, so this next attack was called, it's called a, the stony hobo. Stony means you have three golems. Uh, one of the keys to this attack in Town Hall 9 is not to put all the golems in at one time. I've seen this attack done a bunch of different ways and I've seen it fail also because you're using three golems which takes up a ton of camp space. If you don't use them right, then they're just going to take damage, take damage, take damage and you're and, and be gone. So you start off with two golems. You put two golems on the outer walls, <clears throat> try to spread them out and try to get as many of the defenses on that outer wall to shoot at those golems, put put eight or ten wizards in behind them, clear out all the buildings on that outer wall, then put a jump spell right there on the outer wall to get those the first two golems to head towards the jump spell. Then you'll drop the third golem, so you'll have a nice fresh golem entering the core of the base. Then you can drop your clan castle troops, which will be bowlers. That's where you get the hobo, the it's hogs and bowlers. Town Hall Nine, you only get five bowlers in the clan castle, but if you have a you know if you're at a plus one or a plus two slot. Uh, in your clan then you'll have max bowlers that's really uh, another key part of this attack is to get some of those strong clan castle troops so anyway you have a jump spell on the outer walls you have a fresh golem heading into the jump spell you have your heroes heading into the jump spell you have the bowlers heading into the jump spell use a rage spell use a heal spell right there on the core of the base and just watch these troops go they're going to wipe out the core of most of the bases as they take out most of the core, you'll notice that the outer defenses from the back end of the base are going to start shooting towards the core at those golems and at the troops in the middle. That's when you want to start dropping uh, two to three hogs per defense on the outside of the walls. She brought 14 hogs. I think uh, there was probably six or seven defenses left as the, as the main part of her troops started to dwindle away. There was more than enough hogs. I don't even think she needed a heal spell for them. Uh, but I... 
you really want to try to use heal spells for your hog riders it's important not to heal over the top of the hog riders but heal in front of them where they're going so you have to kind of understand hog rider pathing um, and I, and I, I've talked to a lot of people and there's hog riders are one of those troops that are kind of fickle if you don't know how to use them you're gonna fail with them a lot at first so it's, it's one of those attacks you're gonna have to practice a bunch but you can see if nerve can do it you can too uh, this is the la Luna attack this is probably the strongest air attack in town hall 9 um, now for farming you do it a little differently farming than you would in war uh, for farming You don't need you don't really need a ground-based kill squad like you may in war but We can get into that in another video uh, But in this case here, she's gonna bring three lava hounds one more in the clan castle about 20 balloons and another 15 uh, minions and The key to this attack is to cover up those air defenses with the lava hounds and get the balloons to the air defenses to take them out and it's this is kind of a balancing act because you need the lava hounds to pop lava hounds are two stage troops they pop into lava pups if you are too quick with your balloons and you put the lava hounds in lava hounds go after your air defenses if they go after the air defenses and the balloons get there too soon and none of the lava hounds pop then you have one troop that's doing like 10 damage a second instead of like 10 or 12 pups or however many pups doing the same amount of damage so it's 10 times as much damage so it's kind of a like I said, it's a little bit of a balancing act, trying because it's it's an odd thing that you have a troop that you want to get a certain amount of damage to get it into the second phase of its uh, I don't know existence. <laughs> Maybe it's the troops metapause. <laughs> uh, that was ridiculous. Uh, anyway, another key to this attack is the way you put the balloons in. Um, remember the lava hounds are going to go from air defense to air defense and when you're using three or four They're going to live through the first couple air defenses So you have to pay attention to which direction the lava hounds go into from the first air defense to the second air defense And you want to you want to follow them around the base with the balloons So if you start off at one air defense and they and they head towards the right the, the air defense on the right side That's where you want to put your next group of balloons in you don't want to put all your balloons in at one time and just spam them all in because then you're out of control You don't have any control over the attack So I would suggest you'll put in the first two lava hounds on the first air defense and then maybe put the next two lava uh, hounds in the next air defense There's a bunch of different ways to do it But if you're starting out that's actually one of the simplest ways to do it and then with the first group of uh, Lava hounds the first two put in five or six balloons behind them put a haste spell on them get those balloons over to the air defense pretty quick uh, the same with the second group. This is another attack. The same attack. I want to show two of the, two of this attack because this is a really important attack in Town Hall Nine. Uh, after the last update, or maybe last two updates ago, where the balloons got a buff and they dropped that first bomb so fast, that it, this is a devastating attack. Um, Town Hall Nines can take out Town Hall Tens with it. it. If you're if you master this attack, there you, there's nothing that can stop you. There really isn't. Um, you can use it in Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. So here again, you'll see how she put in uh, several groups of four balloons. And then she put in two haste spells to get those balloons over to where the Lava Hounds were really quick. And then the Lava Hounds sh shifted from the first two air defenses to the second two air defenses. And here comes right behind them a big group of balloons. And uh, has a couple of balloons in the bank that she kind of puts in on the backside. And if you just look at how many balloons are left right now. There's still there's still there's so many spells so many balloons in Town Hall 9 um, Now remember this too This is a common mistake that I see a lot of people make if you are using Laloon and you're not three starting with it I'm gonna be willing to bet that you're using three or four rage spells now if you If you're doing that the mistake you're making is the rage spells uh, good players can can time the rage spells and use maybe four rage spells and, and be okay I would suggest back off the rage spells and use hay spells you can just there's so many more of them You have two hay spells for every rage and the balloons don't really need the power that the, that the rage spell gives it they, they have plenty of power on their own This next attack is by too easy Nerves done She got her three stars now. She's done. She went home uh, This next one. I don't even know what the hell to call it. I call it the piho I know there's probably a name for it but this is this is the same thing as the Goho attack, but instead of using golems, we use Pekka. And I wanted to show this attack because this is a good farming raid for those of you that are out there go, going after the Dark Elixir. Because 
you know, you, you want to practice these war attacks, but at the same time, it's hard to practice some of these high-end war attacks because it takes so much Dark Elixir to do it. So you have a regular um, Goho attack, you have three Golem, and you have 10 or 15 Hog Riders. Well, that's, a, that's three or 4,000 Dark Elixir, and then you have to hunt down a base that has 4,000 Dark Elixir. It's just hard to do. So instead of using the Golems, we use three P.E.K.K.A. with three healers on top of them. And same same philosophy, we we created a funnel on the outside of the walls, we dropped the P.E.K.K.A. in the middle of the walls with the healers behind them. They entered the middle of the walls, heading towards the core of the base. We dropped a heal spell and a rage spell once they got into the first set of walls. And we actually didn't even wait uh, for the Hog Riders to get into the base and, and to drop a heal spell on them. We used a rage spell on all of the troops in the back side of the base. I know I'm a little behind as far as the commentary, but if you go back and look at it, just look at how fast those hogs push through the base in that rage spell. Um, if you can distract the troops, I'm sorry, if you can distract the defenses with your troops, then you can you can use the rage spell with the hog riders, and they they chew through the defenses so fast that the defense has never had a chance to even target them really. And um, the the Pekka, they don't have as many hit points as Gollum does, but because they have they have such a big punch, they take out defenses so fast that that kind of even evens them out. So they're a really good tanking troop, uh, even though they have you know most of the time your tanking troops don't do a high damage per second, but uh, the, the Pekka does. And after the last buff, they have a pretty fast first strike too. A great troop to use. Uh, now this attack right here is, uh, is is one that our clan does if you've ever watched the channel You've heard me talk about it a bunch. It's called the flex attack What it is is it's a queen walk and a bowler walk You start the queen walk off on one corner of the base the bowler walk on another corner You have to be mindful of where the air defenses are if uh, you know people are keen to these walks now And they will put the air defenses back about eight spots to where it's out of the Queen's reach and out of the bowlers reach but yet when they walk by it, the air defenses will pick off the healers. So you have to be mindful of those bases and, and try to either avoid them or or implement your walks in areas where the air defenses won't affect the healers uh, till the end of the attack. Anyway, instead of use normally this attack will have the queen walk and the bowler walk and then we'll use a bunch of giants, valkyries, wizards to push them into the core of the base. Instead of that, we use pekkas instead. So different variation of the same attack uh, it had a very similar result um, be because whenever you're using six healers like we did, that's a lot of troop space, a, lo a lot of camp space. So you you just don't have tons of troops to put into the core of the base because you know here you have you have your clan castle bowlers on the outside it has three healers, three more healers on the queen, and I think we used three Pekka, about five to ten wizards. I'm not even sure anymore. The screen's so small I can't see. Uh, anyway, the, the troops got into the core, cleared out most of it, but now, just like the normal flex attack, you have to kind of rely on your, your P.E.K.K.A. walk and your Queen walk to go around the outside of the base to take out those back end defenses and then and take out those last couple defenses. Uh, this attack, you can falter with these attacks uh, with, the, with the Queen walk if you're not at least, I'd say, level 20. Um, if you have a level 10 queen you're gonna have to save two maybe even three rage spells for your healers just to get just to keep her alive so as as strong as the queen walk is i wouldn't really suggest doing the queen walk until you're about level 20. now there are other options because i know that the walks are a really big part of the game so if you have a level 10 queen and you want to get her into the action um add a, add a witch with her and the witch will help tank for her and that will keep some of the aggro off of her maybe add two witches with her Witches are another great troop to use as in a walk scenario didn't have any in this in this video but it's something i'm very fond of so um hopefully this will give some some people out there some confidence uh there's a lot of le different levels of town hall nines out there there's a lot of elite play at town hall nine but I'm suggesting to you that if you're Town Hall 9, watch the video, pick one of those attacks, build the attacks five or six times, and I'm thinking that within 10 attacks using those same troops, pick any one of those uh, attacks. If you use the same attack 10 times, you're going to 3-star within 10 attacks. That may be a long way, but 
just have a little confidence use some repetition do some friendly challenges and uh, and get those big big attacks out there so hopefully it helps somebody appreciate everyone for watching if you stay to the end thank you till next time it's been easy